People who run after school programs say the last year has been especially difficult because kids have been at home. But soon that's going to change and this field is going to be busy with a soccer program. A 16 year old is the latest person to be killed in a shooting. An 18 year old is now charged in that case. A day earlier, an 18 year old was hit during a shootout with other teens near 7th and Franklin. Investigators say the group fired more than a dozen shots. Overall, shooting calls are down this year, but Des Moines Police Sergeant Paul Parizic says there has been a spike recently. It's a hard problem for just the police to address. We can go after the, the after effects of it, with the, the shootings in the neighborhoods. We can investigate the crimes. It's, it takes a community-wide response for us to figure out how we're going to keep these guns out of kids' hands and, and also stop the kids who desire to get guns having access to those guns. Sam Gabriel dedicates himself to providing students alternatives to what they may be offered away from the classroom. The Genesis Youth Foundation offers soccer and arts programs to kids. I want other people to know that these kids are vulnerable. They are vulnerable and it doesn't really surprise me seeing those things on TV. How do we create safe havens for them to be, uh, to be successful? What these kids what can we do to get these kids engaged? As an immigrant refugee himself, Gabriel's foundation works to help other refugees with opportunities to settle in. We engage them all year round, six, seven days a week. We're about to start the, the uh, soccer season. We're going to be meeting with them seven days a week. We have to engage them. Now, while investigators say there is definitely a spike involving teens and shootings, they don't have a clear explanation as to why.